Good morning, peasants. Today, 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 we're slaying vampires. Okay, now we're actually working on our math project. We're launching potatoes. Oh. Well, how does shooting potatoes out of a cannon relate at all the truth? Well, as you can see here, Lincoln, we have our equations right here as cosines, angles, and tangents. Simple as that. Y equals negative 16 over V. <laughs> squared times the cosine squared beta, all that times x squared, plus the tangent beta times x, plus the height. And that's how we roll. Yeah. What's beta? Well, Elmo, beta is the angle between the gun and the ground. How did you figure it out? We found beta by measuring the distance from the back of the gun to the front of it, and from the tip of the front to the ground, and which forms a right a right triangle, obviously, because this relates to uh, trig. And once we found that, all we had to do is inverse tangent, and we found angle beta, which happens to be 25.5 degrees. Oh, no, gets it. You see, what we're doing today is we're going to be relating the pressure at which we put into the cannon to how fast the potato is launching out of the cannon. Now we'll be using the equation to figure out how fast it's launching through all that trig nonsense and you know all that great stuff and we'll be performing it at four different pressures and each will have three tests to take an average. We'll be doing it at 20 psi, 30 psi, 40, and 50 psi. How goes the pumping? Really good. Let's see what it's kind of swell. progress you're making. Only at 20 psi. Look at that meter spin. 50 psi test in three, two, one. 66 feet, 10 inches. 66 feet, 10 inches. I should have missed those three, two, one. Sweet. I've been wondering how the tests resulted. Well, Bridges, at 50 PSI, our first test resulted in 102 feet, then 66 feet and 10 inches, and then 80 feet and 3 inches. Average out, 83.03 feet. Impressive. He's in like harmony. 40. 40. Oh, you <laughs> ran into the camera. Launch, 40 PSI in 3, 2, 1. Where did that land? Oh. In three, two, one. <laughs> hey, Gavin. Jesse asked Aluso up to bat. It is common knowledge Jesse cannot hit a fast potato. But let's try anyways. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> so Bridges, how is 40 PSI? At 40 PSI, we had three distances of 77 feet 6 inches, 68 feet, and 94 feet 8 inches. We came to an average of 80.06 feet per launch. This is Bridges Dickey signing off. Thank you. Thank you, Bridges. Now it's time for 30 PSI. Fire the hole! Holy <laughs> Three, two, one. A vast. Try to grab it. <laughs> Do it again. Hold on. Vertigo. Two, one. Fifty-five feet to it. Two, one. <laughs> yes. Aim for the camera. Man. I did it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Why did it go so far? Wow! So Bridges, what were the results for 20 PSI and 30 PSI? Well, for 30 PSI tests, the first distance we got was at 107 feet 2 inches, 51 feet 4 inches, 
and 55 feet 2 inches, giving us an average of 71.2 feet per launch. And for the 20 PSI uh, tests, we got distances of 24 feet 4 inches, 30 feet 8 inches, and 108 feet 1 inch, giving us an average of 54.4 feet per launch. So let me just ask you, what's with all the outliers? Did I say you could ask questions? Um, One possible reason for the outliers is the weight and density of each potato per launch. That's why we took an average. Okay. Thank you for the information. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so using the equation earlier that we told you earlier, we were able to solve for V, which comes out to be the square root of 1 over the cosine squared beta over 16x squared. That fraction is multiplied by Y minus the tangent beta times X minus H. So what were the final results? Well, our results were for 20 PSI, we got 46.1 feet per second. For 30 PSI, we got 53.2 feet per second. And for 40 PSI, we got 56.6 feet per second. And for 50 PSI, we got 55.7 feet per second. How did you get those results? Well, we figured out by using a bunch of holy crappy math. That's how we figured it out. be doing is uh, doing all this equation nonsense with epic trig functions and whatnot and uh, we'll be figuring out the distance we'll be doing this I need to read <laughs> that fraction is multiplied by 1 minus the tangent beta times X that's a Y bro I said Y <laughs> oh you said 1 minus <laughs> all right as you can see now the cat is in his natural environment it has spotted the two Predator is approaching it now. Is the cat gonna escape? We don't know. The predator on the right named Jesse is up. Oh no! Oh. The cat has outscaped its predators. This is like a safari. The Jesse animal is now upset about it. The Lincoln animal is just like, what the hell just happened now? That cat is long gone. This is Ryan Conrad. Safari news. I'm off camera!